Hi viewers, welcome to Diksham channel. Learn mathematics easily. Here we are going to answer for all the questions. That is we have to find y in terms of x for each of the following. We are given the derivative of that variable y from to find the value of y by the method of integration. And we know the formula integral x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integration constant. And we know that integration and differentiation are reciprocal to one another. Hence we can say that that is from the first part. So integration and differentiation will get cancelled. So what is the first question given? So dy by dx equal to 15x square. Now integrate on both sides. We get integral dy by dx equal to integral 15x square. Now we can cancel the integration and differentiation. So from this y is equal to we can take 15 outside. So 15 times integral x square dx. Which is equal to 15 times integral x square dx. Compare with this formula. So instead of x we have it as 2. So while integrating we make it as x power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus some integration constant c. So which is equal to 15 times x power 3 by 3 plus c. So by cancelling this we will get 5. So which is equal to 5 x power 3 plus c. Then the second one given is dy by dx equal to 14 x power 6. dy by dx equal to 14x power 6. Now integrate on both sides to get y. Integral dy by dx into dx equal to integral 14x power 6 dx. So now integration and differentiation will get cancelled. So y is equal to integral x power 6 dx. Now compare with the formula. Instead of x we have it as 6. So while integrating we may get it as 14 times x power 6 plus 1 divided by 6 plus 1 plus integration constant. Which is equal to 14 times x power 7 by 7 plus c. By cancelling these two, we will get which is equal to 2x power 7 plus c. Hence, y is equal to 2x power 7 plus c. This is the answer for the b part. Now, consider the third one. It is given dy by dx equal to 12x power 3. Now, integrate on both sides. By integrating on both sides, We will get integral dy by dx dx is equal to integral 12 x power 3 dx. So now we can cancel integration and differentiation. So y is equal to 12 is constant take outside. So 12 times integral x power 3 dx which is equal to 12 times here instead of n equal to that is instead of n we have 3 that is n equal to 3. So now apply the formula. So which is equal to x power 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 plus integration constant. Which is equal to 12 times x power 4 by 4 plus c. So we can cancel 12 and 4 for 3 times. Therefore we have y is equal to 3x power 4 plus c. Then d is given dy by dx equal to 3 by x square. This one can be written as 3x power minus 2. Now integrate on both sides. We will get integral dy by dx into dx equal to 
integral 3x power minus 2 dx. Now here we can cancel integration and differentiation. So y is equal to 3 times integral x power minus 2 dx which is equal to 3 times x power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 plus integration constant which is equal to 3 times x power minus 1 by minus 1 plus c which is equal to minus 3 x power minus 1 plus c which is equal to minus 3 by x plus c. Therefore, from this we can have y is equal to minus 3 by x plus c. And then fifth one that is e part is dy by dx equal to 1 by 2 x power 3. This one we can write it as 1 by 2 x power minus 3. Now integrate on both sides. We get integral dy by dx into dx equal to integral 1 by 2 x power minus 3 dx. Now cancel integration and differentiation. So we will get y is equal to 1 by 2 integral x power minus 3 dx which is equal to 1 by 2 integral x power minus 3 plus 1 divided by minus 3 plus 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 x power minus 2 divided by minus 2 plus integration constant which is equal to minus 1 by 4 x power minus 2 plus c which is equal to minus 1 by 4 x square plus integration constant. Therefore, from this we can have y is equal to minus 1 by 4 x square plus c. Then the last one is dy by dx equal to 4 by root x. f dy by dx equal to 4 by root x. Now this one can be written as 4 by x power half which is equal to 4 x power minus half. Now integrate on both sides. So integral dy by dx into dx equal to integral 4x power minus 1 by 2 dx. Now cancel integration and differentiation. So y is equal to 4 times integral x power minus 1 by 2 dx which is equal to 4 times x power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus integration constant which is equal to 4 times x power 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 plus c. which is equal to 8x power 1 by 2 plus c, which is equal to, we can write as 8 root x plus c. Hence, y is equal to 8 root x plus c. For further queries, you can comment in the comment section or send me a mail. If you are comfortable, kindly like, subscribe and press the bell button for further notifications. Thank you.